Um, I see that in the future, uh, though, that we have a chance, I think, to move beyond that crisis and kind of start looking ahead. And mm. if we are starting looking ahead, I think it is one task to kind of set up an independent commission, I believe, which should have uh, enough credibility uh, both in Russia and in the West to be able to investigate and put together a clear fact-finding report on what happened, how this crisis happened, almost hour by hour count we need, mm -hmm. to be able to kind of provide a kind of a commonly agreed discourse on, on this crisis so yeah. we can reconcile these two positions. But if we look forward, it is absolutely obvious that whatever is now going to be uh, uh, developed as a kind of peace process in, in, in the South Caucasus cannot be done without participation of both Russia and the United States and the international community, be it European Union or OEC or um, uh, uh, United Nations. Yeah. And therefore, it is very important from my point of view now as we are looking forward to find a way to overcome the divisions and the confrontation which, ha which has emerged now in the last couple of months and try to set up you know, a common plan, a common vision because if we fail to do that, what I'm afraid is going to happen is that we will create an environment in which, you know, the instability is going to continue. We already see now in South Ossetia and Abkhazia and in the adjacent areas of, uh, of uh, 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 Georgian regions, uh, the uh, violence almost on a daily basis. And I think this violence is going to continue. Mm -hmm. And I think it will really create uh, a problem, both for the West and for Russia, to be able to control the situation on the ground. Mm -hmm. I think it will be, if those divisions will persist between Russia and the West, this conflict is going to continue to escalate and sooner or later could lead to another wave of violence.